Friends, super welcome to this video. Guys, as you're watching this, I'm actually away on vacation, but I did manage to finish this video in the absolute last freaking second. So if there is an error in this video, it's because I stressed through it, okay? But I still want to show you the freaking awesome games that are dropping next week. I couldn't hold it in. Simple as that. Now, there is something special about this week, though. It contains a few games that are not shooters at all. And that's why the title isn't Weekly Shooters, nor is the thumbnail. So expect the best of the best when it comes to indie games. All decently brutal in one way or another. <laughs> Mario Kart meets Warhammer 40k? Hell to the holy maca freaking Roni. This looks like hella fun and I'm all for it. We get to blaze into high orctane mayhem of clashing speed mobs with adrenaline fueled combat racing through the brutal Warhammer 40k universe. Drive ramshackle vehicles loaded with bombastic weapons and powerful abilities in a breakneck full throttle speedwag to the death. Now this bad boy right here is one of the most hardcore side-scrolling platformers that you can find on this forsaken earth. If you're not already bald but want to become bald for some unexplainable reason, well this game is just for you. Oh, and it's also about Vikings. Now more than a decade after Volgar the Vikings chaotic challenging debut, the Barbarian King story continues in an uncompromising new form. Volgar the Viking 2 is a hardcore 2D action platformer where precision is everything and one false move can spell a brutal death. Now players of the original game will feel right at home on this relentless voyage, even with the addition of new power-ups, new forms of magic, new enemy times and a chest-thumping new soundtrack. Now this first person shooter is actually a heck of a lot more fun than it might look. What first meets the eye is some rather blurry and cluttery graphics, but once you dig your teeth into this one, oh yeah you can do that with the demo before buying it. Now when you do, it's actually really gorgeous, punchy and a load of fun inspired by the most epic and little known battle of the Great War. Haunted Attack of the Dead puts you in the middle of a chaotic fight for your life against hundreds of resurrected Russians, so you better put your arsenal of 8 weapons to good use through 14 levels as you read the world of this nightmare. Eons ago, Goddess Life tricked her sister, Goddess Death, to seize her powers and create an immortal race. Oh man, this one looks so cool. I mean, look at these environments, the magic, characters, armors, weapons, and the enemy designs. Oh, it looks so cool, but there is a problem. I just cannot with soul slags. I want to so bad, but I can't. The frustrating difficulty is just too much for me. But if you're not like me and you can actually manage, this one is looking like a gem. Deathbound is a one-of-a-kind party-based souls-like set in a callous world where faith and science clash, dynamically transformed between fallen warriors all with their own unique skill set, combat styles and rich story. You have to conquer a brutal reality where life and death were never more conflicted. Ooh, it sounds pretty good! One. Turn-based gorgeous action, you say? Hell yeah, we have gotten a few good turn-based shooters as of late, and this simply seems to be another one. We get to join Captain Lee Wei and his ragtag crew as they uncover the enigmatic menace threatening the Great Sea. Equip and upgrade your crew for turn-based gunfights, packed with ricochet action, and engage in real-time naval combat. 
I have no idea what that means, but it sounds good. So we better get ready to aim, plot, and plunder in this uproarious steambot adventure. How do you pronounce half of those words? I have no idea, but the game looks good. Oh mama, the brutality of this one is not to be played around with. This one has me extremely excited and I'm definitely streaming this game once I get home from my vacation. Now at first I thought this was going to be a more realistic slash unrealistic approach with mere humans as your foes, but this seems to not be the case at all. We can expect mutants, weird experiments, humans and lots of brutal action because we have to fight under the onslaught of mutated monsters, obsessed soldiers and even darker bosses. Our goal is simply to try and survive to find out what to do next in this life, as we are simultaneously tearing our enemies into pieces. We got another VR game this week, huh? The Burst is a smashing high-speed VR shooter, and we get to play as a Spec Ops operative to bring down the tyrannical warband leader and her goons. We even have to restore order on a prison planet the best way we can. With violence, of course. Video game violence, that is. Video game. Yeah. Now if you know me, you know that I just love me a super weird game with some eerie dark atmosphere to it. And while this game offers very little in terms of action and shooting, the atmosphere and storytelling alone is what I'm hoping will make this a worthy experience. A game similar to Exit Number 8, it combines spot the difference gameplay with room escape elements. Players are trapped in an apartment, the exit of which is blocked by a demon, and the players they need to find a key in the looping space within the game to escape the room. Are you up for the challenge? Let me know down in the comments. Unrelenting onslaught of eye-popping visuals, ear-bursting soundscapes and mind-melting action makes Signy the vanguard for the next generation of shoot-em-ups. Outgunned, outmanned and out on your own, plunge into a sky full of hell in a last-ditch battle for survival. Hell yeah, this looks freaking awesome, love the visuals and the animations, it really takes the shoot-em-up genre to the next level and I'm all for it. Broski, thank you a million times for watching all the way to the end, you're freaking amazing. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe for a ton more like this. And please do drop a comment, let me know what games will you be playing next week. Were they on the video? Were they not in the video? Let me know. And hell, let the freaking world know. And I will see you when I get back home. Slim, over and out.